Hi Cindy, Andrea here. I wanted to try something new and show you some of the books that I would recommend for that upcoming little baby girl that's going to be here the end of the month. Congratulations on um, your n upcoming arrival there. Uh, one of the things that we have here is a very, we have some little library sets and they come in a cute little cardboard case. This particular one is Baby's Very First Little Black and White Library and they also also have a couple other ones available too and then these are the books that come in there uh, we've got different topics for each one babies faces uh, animals and then this one is um, going out and as you look through these they're just very short they have pictures and they have the words that go with them they're in black and white and then they also have just a little bit of color the pages are nice and thick good quality perfect size for those little hands um, I definitely recommend a little set like this we have a six month old here in the house and these go this is actually her set I pulled it right out of her diaper bag to show you because they are the perfect size for her hands and she likes looking at the colors um, this was the very first thing I ever bought from Usborne Books was this little set right here and so you get these four little books in a set and again this particular one is the very first little black and white library but we do have some others that um, that you may purchase as well and then another series that we have is the That's Not My series. This again is my six months old uh, favorite book, That's Not My Dolly. It has a short storyline that goes through and then it has textures and different things that they can feel as you go through and read that story. And then um, on each page, each section full of color. Again, nice, thick, sturdy cover on the book. And then as we go through, you can see um, all the different textures and things from being being fuzzy, being bumpy, being shiny. And then at the very end in this particular one, it says, that's my dolly. And then um, it has her bows on that particular page that are um, have a different texture to them. So just a real short storyline, very brightly colored, very durable, again, for those beginning readers. They recommend these for up to about a year old, but really I feel confident even up into that two-year-old range. So when you think of something that you want to purchase, uh, for a baby that will last for a while, this is definitely one of those books that would work well for that. We have some stroller books available. They have a handy little clip. Uh, nice to toss in the diaper bag as well. Take with you. Brightly colored. This one is baby's very first stroller book for and it's animals. And it just has a couple pages. It's a board book. And as you flip through, you see all the different brightly colored animals. And it handy, um, has that nice little clip to hook to the arm of that stroller and make it easy to take with you. This was a book I discovered that was a secret gem. And it's called Under the Sea. We have three other books like it. One of them is a new release, and I don't quite remember uh, the name of it right off the top of my head. But we have one, two, three... Um, counting one two three counting and then farm animals I think is the name of the other one but these books they stand up and so they expand out so when you have a baby and um, they're starting tummy time floor play you know sometimes they lose interest they don't want to be there but that's such an important part of development and these books will stand up on their own the other thing I really like about this particular book and I don't own any of the others to know whether or not they're the same way or not is that this is like two books in one so this one is black and white on one side and then on the other side it is in color and it has different pictures so it's like two books in one on that and then the last book that I wanted to show you is called Animally. And this is a favorite of mine to recommend to all families with young readers. And Animally, again, is a board book, but it, it's all about unconditional love. And so as you read through here, it says, I love you hugely like a whale. I love you shyly like a quail. And it goes all the way through. And the pages are like a heavier cardstock quality. So again, this would make a great nap or bedtime book. Um, or just a book on a rainy day if you wanted to cuddle up and remind someone of how much you love them. I love you blindly like a bat. I love you quietly like a moth. And so as you go through the whole story here and you turn the page to the very end, it says, I love you, bird, 
Birdly, Bugly, Animally, I Love You So for You're My Family. So those are just a couple books that I would recommend to you to think about purchasing for your uh, granddaughter who will be here soon. And um, also some books that will work well now while she's little and as she grows into an older reader. So I hope you enjoyed these books. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thank you.